guys, welcome back to my channel Hetal's Cornerstone. So, in today's video, we will see 10 advanced English vocabulary for Duolingo English test as well as for IELTS general and academic purpose. So, this advanced vocabulary is helpful in writing as well as in speaking to improve your score from 7 to 7.5 and 8 to 9. So, you can use this advanced vocabulary rather than in simple vocabulary. So, let's go inside in today's video. One is eminent. We will see picture eminent. What we will say? This is a famous person. Instead of famous, we can use eminent. So, let's see. Don't forget the meaning. Prakhyat Prasiddha in Hindi. Right. We will use synonyms. Famous, well-known, prominent, famed, renowned. So, we can use this synonym instead of famous. Right. So, this is the synonyms of eminent. We will see the sentence. An eminent person, well-known and respected specially because they are good at that profession. So, this is a perfect example of this person. Bill Gates is an eminent person. Okay. So, if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe it, right? So, you will get new and fascinated video. Let's check out another. So, we will see fascinate, second word. Don't forget the meaning, mohit karna, akarshan karna. This is a perfect picture of fascinate, F-A-S-C-I-N-A-T-I. So, instead of fascinate, instead of interest, we can use fascinate. Captivate, enchant, this is, these are the synonyms you can use instead of interest, right? So, we will see the sentence. If something fascinates you, it interests and delights you so much that your thoughts tend to concentrate on it. So, we can see this picture of cat that makes interest in the fish, that fascinate, the in, fascinate in the fish. So, this way you can use the word fascinate. Next one, profound, P-R-O-F-O-U-N-D, profound is a new advanced vocabulary. So, don't forget the meaning, gara, agad, gambi, right? And we will see synonyms of the profound, deep, thoughtful, intelligent. So, this is a perfect picture of profound, gara, and we will see the sentence of that, that is something that is something that is profound, but that is a human journey. And next one is that a profound idea, work or person shows great intellectual depth and understanding. So instead of deep, deep understanding, deep thought, you can use profound understanding. Right. So this is a way you can increase your score in writing as well as speaking to use another words. Let's check out the another word. Fourth is a debris. Nowadays you can find rubbish, litter. So rubbish and litter is a simple word. Instead of that you can use debris. D-E-B-R-I-S. Debris. This is a, a, a picture of debris. Next, don't forget the meaning. Kachra, kuda. Right? So we will see the synonyms of the debris. Litter, waste, rubbish. So, instead of litter, instead of waste, we can use debris. And we will see the scattered piece of rubbish or remains everywhere. So, this is a debris meaning. The debris cloud is self-propagating. Okay, this is a perfect sentence of debris. Next one is, I have another sentence for you. The debris of rock, rock and roll today is plentiful. So, this type of sentence you can use in a... Writing, it is a, so, so some question of debris, right? Next one, this question also asks in speaking, right? So, we will see bewildered. So this is a perfect picture of bewildered, Viagra, right? So, don't forget the meaning, Hakka Bakka Rajana, Viagra Ho Jana. This is the meaning of bewildered. Next, we will see the synonyms of that, confused, Reflexed and dazed. Nowadays, people are more using confused instead of prefix. Okay, so we will see 
perplex and confused very puzzled in the instead of bewildered next one is that we will see the sentence i think some people are bewildered but they are understanding okay so this is this is the way you can use bewildered in sentences next people are still bewildered he said Okay, so instead of confused, reflex and days, you can use bewilder in your sentence and you can improve your vocabulary. Next one. So, we will see next word, diverse, diversity. So, this is a perfect example of India. India is a diverse country, diversity. We will find diversity in Indian culture, right? So, don't forget the meaning, vivid, vibin, anek. Next one, we will see the synonyms different, various, distinct, divergent. So, instead of different and various, you can use diverse personality. Various instead of use diverse interest, right? And um, we will see the meaning showing a great deal of variety or very different. And sentence is that the opinion of the two functions are diverse. Next sentence. India is quite diverse, both politically and regionally, right? So, this is a perfect example of India, diversity in the people's culture. Next, so we will see next word, generous or generosity. So, you don't have to forget the meaning of generous, udarta, udar. And we will see the synonyms giving, big-hearted, bountiful, open-handed, open so, these are the synonyms of generous. Instead of that, you can use generous. Next one is meaning generous stress, warm-hearted, readiness to give more than size or importance of the gift. Next meaning we will check out for generous, showing the readiness to give more of something, especially in money, than is strict, necessary or expected. So, this is the meaning of generous. And next sentence we will check out. He emphasized the word. He emphasized the word any and said I should be generous as a Santa Claus but totally discreet. Right. So this is a perfect example of generous and we can see the pictures of two to giving or to offering someone in a big hearted. So instead of uh, giving or big hearted open handed you can use generous or generosity. Next one, jubilant, okay, very happy and uh, you can say I am so excited, I am glad, elated, instead of you can use new word jubilant, I am jubilant, anand karne wala, usa karne wala, synonyms happy, elated, glad, overjoyed, feeling or expressing great happiness and dream, okay, and sentences we will shake out. The kids smiled jubilantly when they were offered candies for no reason. So we can see the perfect picture of happy, jubilant, right? So instead of I am happy, I am glad, I am happy to see you, I am happy, nice, okay? So you can use jubilant, I am jubilant, right? Next, pathetic, okay? What's kya hai uska meaning? Dainiya. Karuna Janak. So you can see this picture of pathetic, very pathetic situation. So we can take out the synonym sad, pitiful, heartbreaking, miserable, and arousing pity, especially through vulnerability or sadness. So this is the meaning of pathetic. And we will see the sentences of that. It is a pathetic to see how the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. Okay, otherwise we can see the pathetic rose in the rainy season. Pathetic situation of government. So this is a pathetic, we can use sad, pitiful. Instead of that, we can use pathetic. Because you have to remember the spelling. P-A-T-H-E-T-I-C. Pathetic. So next word is eloquent. Meaning... Suvakta, Vakpattu, perfect bolne wala. So we can see the perfect picture of this Barack Obama, fluent in speaking, eloquent in speaking. So instead of fluent, you can use this word. Next, we will see the synonyms, outspoken, having a skillful way with the words. 
and fluent or passive is in speaking or writing clearly expressing or indicating something that is a word eloquent e l o q u e n t eloquent fluent or passive is in speaking or writing so we will see the sentences of that it is important to practice in the grammar of any language if you want to be elo eloquent in speaking it next word next sentence you won't be able to beat him in a debate competition because he is extreme eloquent and well versed with his subject right so these are the two example of eloquent instead of using fluent i am fluent in english i am fluent in english speaking you can use i am eloquent in speaking i am eloquent in grammar as well as i am elo eloquent in english speaking i am eloquent in french so this is a way you can use this word in a variety way instead of variety you can use in diverse way right we have seen this words earlier so uh, take one note in a uh, that vocabulary note and please take out the all the vocabulary in your notebook with the meaning synonyms and sentences and refer it daily to improve your vocabulary to expand your new words in writing as well as speaking otherwise you can use in daily life also to impress to impress someone else right so this is the 10 words of vocabulary So please uh, comment me in the comment box, guys. You required this type of images in next video with the picture image and meaning, synonyms, meaning in the Hindi also. Otherwise, which which way I you you required? I am thinking only just name, just this word, meaning and synonyms with one sentences, right? So please comment me in the comment box which type of video you need. So. Thank you guys thank you for supporting me and subscribe if you're new in my channel please please don't forget to subscribe my channel for new fascinated video so i have used these three words in my sentence so please comment me also which new uh, new sentence is you know and uh, don't forget to like my channel bye bye now bye bye guys